I'm Dr. Kame Tang and I work in the sustainability sector. Here in Australia, one way we are supporting the environment and addressing the cost of living is through the introduction of the new vehicle efficiency standard. Currently, vehicle suppliers are sending their best and most efficient cars overseas. Starting in 2025, car suppliers in Australia will have an annual CO2 emissions target to meet, encouraging them to offer a wider choice of more modern, fuel-efficient vehicles, including petrol, diesel, hybrid and electric. Currently, new passenger cars in Australia use 20% more fuel than those in the US. Imagine saving 20% on your fuel costs by buying a more fuel-efficient car. Why wouldn't you? A common misconception is that fuel efficiency standards will increase costs that are passed on to consumers. But the opposite is true. Having more fuel efficient vehicles actually leads to cost savings for the average buyer. The price that Australian households have been paying for fuel has been steadily increasing for decades and we are driving more than ever before. We can also expect more fuel efficient cars in the second hand market and over time, the motoring landscape will change to the point where the majority of cars on our roads will cost less to run. The new vehicle efficiency standards will help abate over 300 million tonnes of carbon emissions up to 2050. And if we look at people who live regionally or rurally, they usually have further distances to drive on a day-to-day -day basis. And as a result, they need to buy more fuel. With the new vehicle efficiency standards, Australia will see a decrease in our CO2 emissions and an increase in our savings on fuel. 